Hey guys, welcome back to Code Unbox Automation Lab. This is Sherful. So, in our last lecture, we have seen that uh, how to add the client library, right? It's like the Java client library as well as we added also TestNG, which is the unit testing framework. So TestNG, it's also a plugin. So it is a unit testing framework that give you more control on your frameworks. It's a build a dynamic framework, but it is a plugin. So it's not only that we need to add the library, like a test engine library, but also we need to have a knowledge, your Eclipse should have a knowledge about that plugin so that you can use that plugin on your any project. It is a one-time setup and after that, you know, it's, you can use on any project, you know, the test engine, you can, you can convert your project to a test engine framework. So it's very simple, what do you, do, you need to do? So let's go to, I'm going to show you from the beginning. So all you have to just, you know, type testNG on Google, testNG. If you type testNG, then, you know, it will, this is their official website, go over here. And then what do you want to do with the testNG? We want to, we want to integrate to our, uh, to Eclipse. So you click on Eclipse, then over here, you will see over here, um, things installation over here installation the plugin okay follow the instruction to install the plugin okay click on up there and come to over here here you can see you know uh, the installation you know so w what do you have to go you have to go help then install new software and then enter the updated site URL in work field just you know this is their official website just follow that so copy that that will that the uh, link over here and go to help install in your Eclipse okay so in your Eclipse go to help then install new software install new software and after that in work with this field you know paste the URL I think it's better you can remove there is a dot at the very end okay then hit enter and then it will see, you know, you will see it will start to searching the test engine and eventually it will show you the test engine, okay? Then click on this, uh, you know, uh, check mark and then you can finish it. It's already, it's already installed in my system. That's why, you know, I don't need it. So all you have to just make sure, you know, it shows the test engine, then check off, then finish it. And after you finish it, you know, how you're going, going to confirm that test engine has been, you know, uh, install in your ID in your Eclipse so it's very simple go to window and I believe that uh, then go to preference yes and then here if you type test test or you can see there is a test engine as soon as you type test or you will see the test engine so if you see the test engine here it means it's a test engine you know it's been you can see also over here it's been plugged in on your Eclipse so now you can use testNG to any project. It means you can convert a project to a testNG framework. Okay, so that's the pretty much you know uh, you need as a prerequisite to use testNG. So testNG needs a you know whole new different in details lecture all the benefits all the annotation that testNG use. Okay, it's the same idea if you. If you have a knowledge about Selenium, I'm pretty sure that you have gone through, you have used the test engine, you have the idea. But it's still, if you don't have, you know, uh, see on the description below, I will add a link where I have a whole bunch of tutorials in regards to test engine with the different features, how it works. Exactly the same concept that we use the test engine in Selenium, it will use also the same way in, in APM uh, project too. Okay, please, if you don't have the knowledge, please look for there. And and ha, you know go through those uh, uh, the tutorial first to get that more details, okay. So even though I will go through a more details when we'll have a into in framework uh, for APM based on testNG all those things. But you know for now if you still want to go through in details about the testNG, you know go through those tutorials. So that's all for today. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye bye.